Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to share my best practice tips for displaying numbers to your audience during presentations. Numbers are powerful. We use numbers to support our case. We use numbers to help to prove the logic of our conclusion. But don't use numbers to tell your story. Don't overwhelm your audience by flashing up this type of slide. Unfortunately, I've been to too many presentations where the presenter seems to think that the numbers speak for themselves. In this case, the numbers do speak for themselves. This is what they're saying. The presenter does not have the power of his conviction. The presenter does not have a point of view. They're also saying, why should I sit through this? This belongs in the handout. This is not the case. This is not the presentation. Neither is this. Fewer numbers, but again, what are you asking your audience to do? To do the math in their head? And even if you were to use a telestrator and say, as you can see in May in New York, oh my gosh, snore, snore, snore. And also, don't make this mistake. Don't think, well, instead of the numbers, I'll use a graph. There's too much going on here. Where should I focus? There is no focus. Here's an improvement. What we've done, in contrast to the pre prior slide, is that what we've done is break it down by quarter. So there is less to concentrate on, but again, you're not directing the conversation. So what I recommend that you do is you employ custom animation. So here I'm going to animate the chart. I'm going to direct the discussion. So here, by looking at one division, by looking at the New York division, I'm able to say, well, what the heck happened here? And now when I bring in the second series, when I bring in Chicago, you see that there's quite a difference in performance during the third quarter. Is there something going on here? We may also be able to discern a trend that Chicago seems to be on a good growth curve. So you see, isn't that much more engaging? Isn't this a much more meaningful presentation? Let's bring in our third series. Now we can bring in Los Angeles. And again, the third quarter seems to be a mystery. Look at Los Angeles, which had a great second quarter, but why that severe decline in the third? All right, let me delete these animations here, and let me show you how you can actually employ custom animation. All right, so now what I'm going to do is discard those, and let's come back here onto the slide and add in custom animation. First, of course, select your chart, then go to the Animations tab on the ribbon. You, we want to look at custom animation. So over here, we have the dialog box. Now, of course, I've already applied animation using a mouse click. Here's the gotcha step. There's nothing here that says, well, how do I introduce one series or uh, one um, category at a time? So you use your drop down and come down here to effect options. Over here in the effect options dialog box, you see this tab for chart animation. So you see I'm bringing the chart elements in by series. The series are New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. The other choice would be to bring them in by category. In that case, that would be quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. After that, of course, I have other choices. I mentioned that we could set this up to automatically appear. So if you're creating your PowerPoint for a kiosk or a self-running slideshow, then you would set up one of the with previous or after with the timing. So it's really very simple. The gotcha step is, again, to look over here and say, what are the effect options that I want to apply to my um, uh, chart. And again, remember, don't rely upon the numbers alone. They belong in the handout. If you need to go into a discussion, well, we can always bring up the Excel uh, sheet or whatever worksheet we were working with. So we could either use a hyperlink, or if we have the program open, we could use Alt-Tab or Windows-Tab to come over here. And if you are going to focus on the numbers, be sure that you highlight the numbers that you want to focus on, go to the View tab, and then select Zoom to the Selection. So that's a much more effective way to present your numbers. Use the numbers for the power that they are, but don't rely upon numbers alone to make your case. 
And this is one of the 50 best tips for PowerPoint that I make available on my DVD. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.